G'day, and welcome to my tutorial for Steam. What is this you say? Well, I'm really, really busy and I haven't had time to finish any of the reviews I've been doing, let alone really play any adventure games, which is a bit of a bummer. But I have got plans to do stuff, but I thought I'd just do something really quick just to, you know, give you something because people are starting to email me and going, where the hell are you? No, I'm not dead. I haven't given up the channel. I'm just, I've just got a life. I'm sorry. But anyway, here's something which I think you guys might like. It's another tutorial. Basically, who here uses Steam? Probably everybody, or at least a large portion of people. Uh, Steam is a pretty fantastic program in my opinion. Uh, though GOG is obviously better because it doesn't use DRM, blah, blah, blah. Let's not get into that. But let's have a look at how Steam works. Basically, you have your library of games, right? And these games are saved into whatever directory you originally installed Steam. So what happens if your C, like if you have it installed into C drive program files slash Steam, what happens if you run out of space on your C drive? Well, you're going to have to delete some of your games, but you might have lots of other space on other drives. And Steam offers no way to transfer your games around. So this tutorial is going to teach you how to install through Steam individually any game to any location on your computer, regardless of where Steam is installed. Okay, so let's uh, check this out. First, uh, let's just find my Steam folder. When I originally installed Steam, I installed it into C drive games slash Steam. But for most people, it's going to be C drive slash program files slash Steam. Okay, so let's just go into games and Steam. So once you find your Steam directory, it's all going to be the same from here on. Inside Steam, there's a directory called Steam Apps. And inside, inside Steam Apps, there's a directory called Common. And this is where all your currently installed Steam games reside. Right. But I've now run out of space on my C drive, just uh, pretend I have, I haven't really. But I want to keep all my games installed, but I want to actually install a new game, or just move them for whatever reason I wish. And this is how you do it. Basically, I've got, if I go to my D drive and I go to games, uh, Let's just make a new folder and I'm going to call this Steam Games 2. Now, for this particular tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my Dawn of War 2 Retribution game directory onto my D drive. So this is all the game assets and all the the actual installed game. So all you need to do is copy it, or well move it actually, so select all the files, so that's Control A to select all the files, then Control X to cut, and then Control V to paste it into the other directory. Now this is 4.7 gigs, so it's going to take a little time. One thing to know about this method is that you have to install it and run it at least once legitimately through the Steam interface as per normal. So this is more for moving already installed games and then you can install new games into the default directory. All right. So say I've got a new, say I downloaded Skyrim. It's a huge game, it's like 15 gigabytes or something I've heard. So I would still need to install that 15 gigabyte game to my default directory before I could do this. 
and then once it's installed I can then move it wherever I want. Okay so this is almost finished I'll probably just uh, speed this up. Okay now I've actually made a little bit of a mistake here <laughs> I uh, moved all those files into the root of Steam games. I, what I really want to do, I'm just going to select all, move them again, I'm going to make a directory, I'm just going to call it dow2ret, and then I'm going to move them all into there. So all I've done, okay, this is all I've done, I've gone into the install directory where Steam has them installed, I've gone into the game directory, I've then moved all the files into a new directory on my D drive. See, one's on C, one's on D. So I made a directory called dow2ret, then I moved all the files in there. Now comes for the tricky bit, and it's not really that tricky at all. Uh, it's gonna be using something called symbolic links, and it's very easy to do. So what we wanna do is you start uh, window, uh, start, you go to your start bar and type in CMD. I'm using Windows 7, if you're not using Windows 7, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Though this command will still work, but like the way, it, you, you won't be able to follow through what I'm doing, but the basic information is the same. Okay, so don't press enter when you type in CMD. Just type in CMD. Then right click on it and go run as administrator and that'll pop it up, a little DOS window here that is uh, logged in as administrator. Now we're gonna be using a command called mklink. And mklink will make a symbolic link of one directory to another. And we all know what symbolic links are. They're kind of like shortcuts, which everyone's familiar with. And you can do this with directories, and that's what we're gonna do. So we type mklink slash d for directory and then we want to put a quotation mark. Now we go to the source dir, the original dir, inside where Steam installed the files. In this case, it's C Drive Games, whatever, Dawn of War 2, Red. And we're just gonna click in the top of the bar to select it all, and go right click, copy. Go back to our DOS window, right click, to paste it in and then close the quotation marks. Hit space, then open quotation marks, and then go to the directory that we want to link it to, which is where we copied all, this, all the game files. So we click in the top, we go right click, copy, and now back inside the DOS prompt, we right click again, and we just close the quotation marks. Now we're pretty much done. All we need to do now is go up a single directory, so we're actually in the common directory, and delete this directory here, Dawn of War 2 Retribution, the original directory created by Steam. We'll just go delete, yes. Okay. And now I just have to press enter. And as you can see, a new directory has appeared with the same name and it's got this little arrow. So if I double click on this, you can see it's now linked to this directory here. You can see the game files are now here. But the interesting thing is, because this is a symbolic link and not a shortcut, the computer still thinks I'm on the C drive. See, if I go to the uh, path, it still says C Drive Game, Steam, Steam Ads Common, Dawn of War 2, even though the actual files are being taken from the D drive. Okay, and that is it. Now the game will run as normal, because as far as Steam is concerned, nothing has changed. It's The game is still installed on the C drive. It's just pulling the files from the D drive. And that's it. That is how to move your Steam games and uh, still be able to play them. So let's just see that again really, really, really quickly. Uh, I'll do this with a completely new game. I recently got the Humble Indie Bundle. So let's go uh, All Games. Come down here, 
Where is it? Uh, hogs. I haven't installed hogs. I right click it, I go install game. It's only 81 megs, so it's going to be very quick. We're just going to go next, 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 and that's going to install. Okay, COGS is installed, I sped that up. Run it at least once. This is just in case it, the actual running of the application creates more data files in that folder. Might not be 100% necessary to run it, but better safe than sorry. Okay, COGS is loaded. Awesome, awesome game by the way. Let's uh, get rid of that. Now, if I go to my Steam install directory, which remember is usually program files, but uh, in my case it's C drive games slash Steam slash Steam apps slash common. There is now a directory called COGS. This is where it's installed. Let's go into that directory. There are all the game files for the game called COGS. Now over here, we have my games dir on my D drive. Okay, so this is my this one here is my C drive. This one here is my D drive. So we go into Steam Games 2. We make a new directory, and we're going to call this COGS. May as well just call it the same name. And now we go into that directory. We then grab all the files, right click, cut, right click in the other window and go paste. And they just copy across, like so. Now, uh, I'll just do this from scratch. Open the start menu, click CMD, type CMD, don't press enter right click on it and go run as administrator and that'll open the DOS prompt and type mklink space slash d space open quotation marks go to the original directory steam made on your c drive select the entire bar you know of all the the location for it right click copy right click in the DOS window, close quotations, press space, open quotations, and get the do the exact same thing to get the location of it on the D drive. So click in the title bar, so it selects it all, right click copy, go to the DOS prompt, right click paste, close quotation marks. Now all we need to do is go up one to the root of the common directory that Steam made. This is the Steam directory. And just delete the original COGS dir. And now just press enter to create the symbolic link. And as you can see, COGS, the COGS directory now has a little, you know, arrow thing on it saying that it's linking to D drive. And if I click on it, it goes to D drive. And of course, if I click on the game itself, it uh, loads perfectly fine, even though it is no longer installed on the C drive. So that is the complete process. Install it first, then move it, then link it, and you're done. I hope this little tutorial has been helpful, and I will see you soon, real soon, with uh, some more reviews. Thanks for watching.